The lists are already out of the supplies our kids need for the new school year. It's that time, in addition to pencils and notebooks, most students will need computers. Getting technology back to school ready is the focus of this week's Compute This. Thor Schrock joins us each Monday. He owns Schrock Innovations. Good morning, Thor. Nice How are you? Yes. Ignore the bacon grease dripping from Mary's <laughs> chin right here. Those were, he walked they in and he delicious. said, it smells so good in here. <laughs> good. Thank you, Dustin. Uh, what should parents do with their computers uh, just to make sure they're ready for school? Yes. Oh, golly. Well, you know, basically a lot of this is going to depend on what kind of school you're getting ready ready for. You know, obviously elementary school kids don't have to do as much mm -hmm. as high school age kids and college age kids need to do to make sure their computers work well. But the bottom line here is uh, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Uh, we want to identify problems that people's computers are having before they find themselves in situations where they need the computer and they're having issues. For example, uh, we have a homeschooling mom who dropped off her computer yesterday at our Papillion Service Center because it wasn't turning on. So we assume bad power supply. We'll bring it and check it out. We can fix. We have those in stock. We'll fix it while you wait, kind of thing. Uh, turns out that it was an entire bad motherboard. Oh now my. this is planning week for her family for their homeschool curriculum, and so during planning week, you know, teachers get in service days and they have the summer to plan their curriculums and everything. They have to they have deadlines. They have to turn them in. Mm -hmm. Homeschool parents have deadlines too. And so, of course, her computer goes down during the most uh. critical week it could go down. If it goes down during the school year, you know, she could probably work around that. But right now, it's tough. And now, that's how it usually works. Of the course. time you need it most, it Uncle goes Murphy down. comes knocking. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, when, you're, when you have a kid who's going off to, say, high school or college, the biggest enemy that that child will have is downtime in their technology. And so what do you see, what types of problems do you see throughout the school year that may be a maintenance checkup right now? could help address. Well, absolutely. So for example, when you we come in for a preventative maintenance checkup, we call it a preventative <laughs> maintenance checkup because you're supposed to bring it in when you're not having a problem so we can check everything out because most computer problems don't just come along, you know, one day everything's fine, the next day, boom, you have a problem. Mm -hmm. It seems that way, but actually these problems fester and they're small problems that are much less expensive to solve if we catch them early. So for example, uh, power supply getting ready to fail, the computer won't turn on, that kind of a situation, we could, when we have it in for a maintenance checkup, we test the power supply. Uh, bad hard drive. Hard drives don't just up and die one day. They go bad over a period of time. Yeah. We test the hard drive. We test the memory. We inspect all those little capacitors on the motherboard How to make sure they're working. How many things do you do throughout the course of one of these preventative maintenance checkups? How many things are you touching well, or looking at? Oh boy, how many things? I've never actually counted right. them, but the list is nine point font nine point. and it's about seven <laughs> inches long. That's what uh, so we do quite a bit. It takes eight hours to mm. do a preventative maintenance right. checkup on a computer, but the nice thing about that is, especially if you're sending a child off to college, is especially if you're sending, you know, you have a child in high school, something along those lines, you know, when they're going to be far flung from you in college or when it's going to be, oh, I have a paper due and I can't get my paper in and I'm going to get a lower grade mm -hmm. and I'm trying to get into colleges. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want your computer to have downtime because no matter what your kids tell you, the latest iPad is not a replacement for a computer, a laptop or a desktop. Yeah. You can you could yeah. squeeze by if you had to, but if you've ever tried to type anything lengthy on that keyboard, <laughs> it's it not takes happening. a long time. Yeah, it's not it's not easy. Yeah. When you talk about eight hours for one of these preventative checks, I think I think dollar signs. I'm like, that's gotta be expensive. But mm -hmm. how much does it cost for one of these? Gotcha. Well we pay our employees less than McDonald's workers. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no actually uh, we pay our employees much better than McDonald's workers, but uh, the average maintenance checkup takes about eight hours. We charge seventy nine ninety nine for a maintenance checkup. So during the checkup, we test the entire computer. Not only that, but we actually fix some things during that too. If we mm -hmm. find registry corruption, we fix that for free, no additional charge. If we find, uh, when we scan for malware and viruses, if we find viruses or you know things that are causing the computer not to function properly, sometimes mm -hmm. those require extra labor to fix. But you know we're going to eliminate all the tracking cookies, all that internet buildup that's in the computer that that's causing it to run so slow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you need to bring in if you're bringing in? I imagine if it's a PC, you don't bring the monitor in, just the tower. Mm -hmm. Do you need the power supply with the tower? And then if it's a laptop, do you need the power supply with it? Great question. Now with uh, desktop computers. 99% of the time we don't need any cords or accessories. Um, the only exception is HP sells these wonderfully junky desktop <laughs> models that have a, and I'm picking on them because they're the only yeah. ones that do this, they have a laptop power adapter that runs the desktop computer. That tells you how small the guts are inside, how, how mm. low performance they are. Basically, if you have one of those models, we need your power cord. If you have a laptop, we do want your power cord because that is the power supply. In a desktop, the power supply is a unit inside the box, mm -hmm. and we can test that, but we can't test your power cord 
unless you bring your power cord. Do you need an appointment for this or can I just show up and drop my computer off? No, you can just show up. In fact, right now, this is our dead time of the year. A few weeks before school starts, things really slow down for us because people you know, are getting the school supplies bought, they're going mm -hmm. shopping for clothes, they're finishing up the family vacations. In about two weeks from now, <coughs> we're going to be wall to wall doing preventative maintenance for kids going to college and everything else. So mm -hmm. if, it's, if it's something you need to get done, which I would recommend if you have a student, mm -hmm. you need to get this done. Yep. Get it in. If you get it in now, your turnaround times are going to be same day next day versus a couple days in a few weeks. You got a niece going into high school, a nephew going into college. I mean, we're, we're all, we all yes. know somebody who mm -hmm. needs a computer. It's just a fact of life. Yep. Thanks, Thor. It's good to see you. Thank you, guys. And if you would like to drop off your PC or your laptop, three locations. One in Omaha, Village Point South, another in Papillion, and then the original in Lincoln. Online at SchrockInnovations.com. And he's always including some great information on Facebook to help us all either understand technology or keep our information safe. We have a great video on our Facebook page right now of what it looks like when you shred a hard drive. Oh yeah, because you had the, the shredding. <laughs> the recycling fun, event. Right. So we filmed it and it's just amazing. Like I picked up the pieces of my hard drive. This is my hard drive. <laughs> we should have shown it. Well, next uh, week, we'll show it next all week. All right, sounds good. All right, yeah, thanks. Thank so you. Thank so you.